All right, that was Terminator X with Back to the Scene of the Base. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to go uh, on to a little more political talk. Okay. Yeah, tell us about Mike Huckabee these days. All right, so those of you who have been listening in consistently, um, we've often mentioned our show, the former presidential candidate had ambitious plans to alter the Constitution to fit God's standards. That is, he wished to implement laws into our Constitution, which, in his hopes, would mold the nation to a more God-fearing and God-loving nation. Special reporter Carol Costello has been looking into the issue for us and has completed her investigation. Now, Carol, what was Governor Huckabee talking about? Well, he's talking about the incredibly divisive issue of abortion. There is a split among social conservatives in how to ban the procedure. Huckabee has positioned himself far to the right, invoking God and the Constitution. Life begins at conception and will protect it until its natural conclusion. Mike Huckabee, a Baptist minister, says he is so strongly opposed to abortion, he advocates a constitutional amendment banning the procedure. It's an unusually strong stance. But what's angering some critics is the way he's selling his idea. But I believe it's a lot easier to change the Constitution than it would be to change the word of the living God. And that's what we need to do is to amend the Constitution so it's in God's standards rather than try to change God's standards so it lines up with some contemporary view of how we treat each other and how we treat the family. Huckabee's idea reflects a split in the Republican Party. For years, social conservatives have opted to chip away at Roe v. Wade through judicial rulings or urging states to outlaw abortion, as opposed to pushing a U.S. constitutional amendment. John McCain, Fred Thompson, and Mitt Romney among them. I'm not looking to uh, change the Constitution. Uh, I do believe from time to time we'll have amendments to the Constitution, particularly where there's been confusion uh, on its uh, applicability. I think marriage should be defined as a relationship between a man and a woman. Uh, but I'm not uh, looking to apply a, a religious text to the, uh, to the Constitution of the United States. And Constitutional experts say that's exactly what Huckabee wants to do. What Governor Huckabee is suggesting is to create more of a sectarian constitution, a constitution that reflects not morality, but his specific view of morality. But it's Huckabee's comments that seem to be appealing to evangelical Christians, an important voting block in the coming South Carolina primary. I don't think the governor in any way was injecting God or religion. I think he was stating a very clear fact that many Americans uh, believe as well. At least one Republican strategist says it's a good strategy to win South Carolina's conservative vote. But it may backfire if Huckabee makes Thank it you. to the general election. Now, if you're wondering where Americans stand on the issue of a constitutional amendment to ban abortion, according to a CNN USA Today Gallup poll taken last November, 37% favor one, 61% oppose a constitutional amendment banning abortion. Thank you, Carol. Enlightening, yeah. terrifying <laughs> report on former presidential candidate Mike Huckabee. Yeah, I, are, are, you, are you glad he's gone? I guess you are. I don't know about myself, though. <laughs> I, mean, I, I kind of agree with the old man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll admit, he's, he's a lovable looking guy. I mean, oh, I so see charming. him, my heart just melts, you know? I know. He, he has such clever jokes. Did, did you see him on Saturday Night Live? No, I didn't get, I didn't get a chance to catch it. <laughs> Uh, it was it was funny. I can't really reenactment, but he was just on there and he was getting interviewed, and they were uh, talking to him about um, how he has like no chance of winning, and they were giving him all the numbers and arithmetic and stuff. And it was funny because his response were to them telling him that he could not win and he wasn't going to win because there wasn't enough delegates is like if it's in god's will i will win <laughs> and it was funny like he was kind of making a joke about it but still it's it's mike huckabee <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna uh try to do some research because i actually brought in the new testament we're gonna find out where it says that life should be preserved and abortion should be illegal any listeners out there that any uh insight and do this yeah, scripture <laughs> come help us out yeah we do have like 600 pages to go through <laughs> within this segment and find out where god told us that abortion should be illegal and written into the constitution yeah I, i'm a bit shaky on that i'm surprised that 
that the uh, the prophets had the foresight to write in the Constitution <laughs> into the Bible. That makes so much sense. Yeah. Of how um, easy it was to draft our Constitution. H- have you seen Jesus Camp? I don't think he has. I haven't got a chance to see it. Uh, kind of a funny thing that they say, and that is, uh, they talk about how there's a new evangelical church every two days in America, and they're <laughs> they're really cocky about it because they're like, in the next election, it's going to basically persuade everyone's vote, and there's no doubt that there's going to be ev- an evangelical president. Which, uh, he kind of took a run at it, but too bad he lost. The, bi- the, bi- the problem with those churches is that they're usually founded by splinter groups from prior angelical churches. Yeah. Evangelical churches, rather. Yeah, it's kind of a big money game, I see it as. <laughs> but, uh, I loved Mike Huckabee. Uh, he kind of kind of tore my heart when he was walking off stage last night. He was uh, all tearing up and... I don't know, a little sad. All, all I really know is that it paves the way. One less competitor for a Ron Paul victory, right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, if you, you know, wanna... if you think about it, could could Ron Paul capture the presidential nominee by default if McCain were to pass away in the primaries? Yeah. He, he could become. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That would be the greatest I, day I, of my life. I, I think McCain might <laughs> Poli- get caught up. Yeah, that would be <laughs> awesome. But if you. If McCain would get caught up in like some scandal or something, I could see that definitely happening. Like I don't, or like a sex tape being released <laughs> with like him and his wife. Uh, That'd be what? awesome. That'd be the second <laughs> best day of my life. <laughs> yeah, it would. Uh, what's her name? Chrissy? I don't. I forget her name. She's not bad. But, but she's not bad for being what a uh, sixty, seventy, or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, she looks like she's taking a lot of Botox and all. But uh, let's let's play a song for everyone, Zach. All right, this is French Forever by Zach Attack. 